Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. It says here, in a right triangle, the sum of the square of the legs is equal to the square of its hypotenuse. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is that we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the missing value. And as you can see, these triangles are right triangles. So to find the value of this x and this x, we will use the Pythagorean Theorem. Again, the sum of the square of the two legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. You can use the formula c square is equal to a square plus b square. Or the other way around, that is a square plus b square is equal to c square. Now, let us discuss this formula. Your a and b, it represents the length of the sides or the legs of the right triangle. While the letter C, it represents the length of the hypotenuse. So here, in this first triangle, we are given the two legs, which is 6 inches or 6 units, and the other is 8 units. While the missing side is your hypotenuse. This one is the hypotenuse because this one is opposite to your right angle. Now, how are we going to use the Pythagorean theorem or this formula? Here, this one is your letter C. We can represent this as A or B, and this is as A or B. So I will represent this one as A and this one as B. So right now, we're ready to use the Pythagorean formula. We have C square is equal to A square plus B square. Substitute the value of C, which is now X, and then the value of A, which is 6. Then square it, plus your B, which is 8. So this must be written as 8 square. Simplify. Simplify, this is... 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36, while 8 squared is 64, plus 64, and this is x squared. Add these numbers, we have x squared is equal to 36 plus 64, that is equal to 100, and to get the value of x, extract the square root of this one, and also this one. The square root of x squared is x while the square root of 100 is simply 10. Kung ano notice nyo, we didn't use positive or negative 10 as the square root of 100 because the value of, of x, it represents the length of the hypotenuse. We are not allowed to use a negative number to represent the length of something. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, we have here this variable x, and this one is not your hypotenuse. This one is one of the legs of the right triangle. Why? Because 13 is your hypotenuse because this one is opposite to your right angle. As you can see, 13 is opposite to your right angle, meaning this is your letter C. So I would represent x as A, and this is your B. So, let us solve this problem. Using this formula, we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Substitute the value of c, which is 13, here. So, that must be 13 squared is equal to your a, which is x, that is x squared, plus your b which is 5, that is 5 square. Now, 13 square is the same as 13 times 13. So this is 169. Is equal to x square. Then 5 square is 25. This is plus 25. So next, we will transpose 25 to the other side. And it will become 169. Transposing it, it will become minus 25 
is equal to x squared. Subtract these numbers. Okay, if we will subtract them, this is 144 is equal to x squared. And finally, to get the value of x, extract its square root and also this one. Square root of x is square root of x squared is x while the square root of 144 is equal to 12. And this is now the value of x in this given right triangle. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find a missing value in a given right triangle. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!